Butler from PC Audio Labs, and the you know we, we have a we have this brief moment where the processors, the RAM, the the OS, everything is actually mature at the same time, uh, which is just, it really is rare. Usually one thing is really you know just coming in and screwing up the whole system, and everybody's got to kind of backtrack. And the the next challenge for us is how all of the other things interface with the computer. So it's Thunderbolt, it's it's USB three, uh, it's mobility questions, it's you know it's ice cream sandwich, you know it's all of these things that we're all going to be tying together and trying to figure out how we do music, um, interacting with all of these other devices. So it's not just about your desktop computer or your laptop. It's are you using your tablet to then get to your laptop or to your desktop? Are you um, you know, going to use this interface, and are you going to wait for a card for Thunderbolt and make this work or not? Or how, you know, all of these different things. Those will be our next set of questions. But the computer itself is actually very stable right now. It's it's kind of a, a magic moment uh, until the next you know Windows 8 or you know whatever whatever the next leap is, which isn't the fault of the leap. It's everyone trying to catch up with the leap. Um, so I, I find that that's, that's our moment. That's what we have to deal with, is figuring out how to make everyone speak to each other, not, not the computer itself. I think that the, the migration to handheld devices or to highly portable devices is inevitable. You know, So the question becomes, what is right for you? You know, not about, and when I say that, I mean like, for instance, you're doing work right now and you want to do things. I'm not, when I think about that, I'm not worried about whether 10 years from now there will be a desktop or whether I'll do it on a laptop. It's simply I'm working right now and I want the best thing for what works right now. And, you know, many people will still make their music at home. It's just the simple fact that at some point a tablet is going to have the power. That a, that a desktop has right now. Right now it's nowhere near. Can you play around on a tablet? Absolutely. Can a guitarist take it, put it on a stand, and run some effects from a live show? Of course, you can do those things. In fact, mobile solutions, use the, use the term solution <laughs> very cautiously here, but mobile is very similar to what it was like for a desktop computer 15, 20 years ago. It used to be that you purchased a computer to run a program in your studio side by side with all of these other things. Now a computer is your studio and you buy things to hook into it. So that's what the tablet and many laptops, to be fair, there, there's some great laptops and obviously we make some, um, but there, are, there aren't many that could replace your studio. It's still just a part of it. But 10 years from now, of course. Of course, technology has to go there. Has, technology has no choice but to double and redouble, you know, every time. So you run with what it is. Uh, are, are Apple still going to make towers? I, I, if I had the answer to that, uh, well, one, I'd probably be working for Apple. Um, but, you know, I, sure, why wouldn't they? They're a consumer company now. And I'm not saying that in, in some sort of belittling way. The reality is they, they make billions of dollars selling products that people carry in their pocket. Um, why should they make towers? It's 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 a hassle. I know from owning a company that makes towers. It's it, you know, it, it takes a lot to make people happy, and, and that's what our frame is. You know, so they'll leave it to us, and they'll move on to, you know, to music playback. We still do music recording. We've been doing a lot of work with Kingston, um, and you know, and testing out RAM and seeing just how much RAM to put in the machine, what's an adequate amount. We know as, as you know, a composer or someone working, you know, you know, uh, what your kind of limitations are from not using RAM. Uh, but putting it all together, there really is a, a point where like 16 to 24 gigs of RAM is a really great space to be in. That's not to say that 8 isn't really strong still, but what happens is when you have 16 gigs of RAM, suddenly if you want to load up all of the pianos from East West and have them sitting in there so while you're working through a project you say now I want to try this one now I want to try that one they're all there you know and that is the biggest advantage of RAM to me uh, that's kind of the game changer you know it's it's not about all that I'm using it's about all that I have access to at the same time without slowing down my project. So I want to open up all of these libraries, everything ready, have them installed and, and as your template. 
and when you turn on the computer and you open up a, a project, it has everything in there, and then you start working. So you're not playing around. I'm going to change out the drum kit midway through, and I don't have to stop the session to load it. You know, because I don't care how fast the computer is, you still have to stop for a moment to get things done, load it in, load out, do that. I just, you know, just do a move with a mouse, and I'm listening to a completely different drum kit. That's the power of RAM. So you don't don't think about you know all that I can load in for pro oh most of my projects you know don't require all that okay but wouldn't you like to have everything there at once you know so I think that's that's really important.